Hello everyone, checking back in on cryptocurrencies. I'm going to stick with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin for now. There's certainly plenty of others to be taking a look at, but I want to keep my focus on these three. I'm going to be actively trading Ethereum, and I'm certainly more interested in these three than all those other ones. Not to say there's not any value in those other ones, but just for right now, I'm going to keep it simple. This is a new world to a lot of people, and I feel like I have a nice gauge in terms of our members at the chart, guys, with which are financially savvy people, and there's you know, enough members that it's a, a good sample size of the population and, you know, over a couple hundred members. So the amount of people that are comfortable with cryptocurrency and that are aware of cryptocurrency is extremely small. And I'm talking about, I would say maybe 2%. So what that tells me is this is nowhere near being mainstream accepted, even Bitcoin. Obviously, everybody knows what it is. But in terms of the people that are comfortable trading it, I really think that the ETF is the short term catalyst that's going to be huge because people don't even know it's it's really a barrier to entry to have GDAX or Coinbase as a, a level that you have to go through. It's foreign to people. It's not comfortable. If someone can just hop on their broker that they're on every day, they're trading on every day and just jump in an ETF, they are much more likely to do that. And that's going to open the doors wide open to a big influx of money. So I do believe we know Bitcoin was just denied. Ethereum, if it is approved for an ETF, I think it's going to be huge. And I think that is the next catalyst for a big time move to the upside. So here we have Bitcoin on the daily time frame, and we have inside bars forming. And I'm going to be talking about inside bars a lot in this video because it's a very common pattern and it's a very simple trade indication. And when you have an inside bar, it means the range of the candlestick completely fits in with the range of the previous candlestick. So right now we have multiple inside bars in a row on the daily time frame, And what it shows you is a tightening pattern. So you zoom in if you want more details and it's what I call an equilibrium pattern. You see it everywhere. I pointed it out in the Ethereum video. I believe that was two, two videos ago. So we have our high low of the pullback, lower high, higher low. This is the inside bar. So if you zoom in, you can see higher lows and lower highs. If you zoom out, you see the macro version of just a couple candlesticks showing that tightening range. The break occurs when the inside candlestick range breaks. So if we were to break the high of this inside candlestick of yesterday of 1609, that's a bull signal. If we get a break of the low of 1495, that's a bear signal. So that is a nice, simple way to be doing things. And right now I'm watching Ethereum on the hourly time frame. We've got a couple inside candlesticks in a row and I've got my trade filled out and I'm just waiting for a bull break of that inside candlestick to jump in for a short-term day trade here and really dangerous now that we got 24 7 trading in terms of my sleep cycle so Bitcoin here is still extremely strong if we get a bear break we know normal healthy consolidation is coming at this point because of the run-up to the upside that we have seen we could pretty much pull back $250 and still be forming higher lows and very strong on the daily time frame. So we'll be watching this tightening pattern for a break sometime towards the end of this weekend. You can see the range shrinking. Volume is another part of this pattern. It's very common. The volume will drop off as well, lower and lower. And then you get that break, a spike in volume and increased volatility. So that's what we're looking at for Bitcoin. If we want that key support, we zoom into the hourly time frame. We see the lows of the pullback. We can draw some lines there to visually make things easier for us. There's our higher low and our low of the pullback. And in terms of resistance, we've got our lower high and the all-time high. So those will be the levels that I'd be looking at as we tighten in this range. Ethereum on the, let's start on the daily time frame to get an overall look here. So the daily time frame is a bearish reversal candlestick after a huge move to the upside. And it's actually the most bearish candlestick that we have seen on the daily chart on Ethereum in the past couple of weeks. So personally, if looking for a longer term position, I would wait for a bit more consolidation perhaps. And in terms of the hourly time frame here, we are seeing, again, there's these inside bars. So we're right near a bull break of this inside bar. And I would be watching the low of this pullback as a support that the bulls want to hold. That's down right at about, let's see the exact price, it's 88.20. And in terms of resistance, we have the high of the bounce attempt. That's a resistance right there at $95. So really it all depends on the length of your trade here. If you're an investor, you're looking at the daily and the weekly chart. If you're a trader, you're looking at the daily and the hourly chart. And really, if you're an investor, you don't really care about the hourly chart, but I'm going to be actively trading and investing here. So I'm going to be looking at it all. So we did break this low because this low broke of $89. That indicates to me that we're likely to see some lower highs and lower lows as we do consolidate, because if the bulls were truly strong, they would have held $89 and kept a higher low pattern intact. That's not the case. We broke $89, set a little lower low there, 
and watching to see. This is also a potential bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern on the hourly. Let's draw that one real quick. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. If we were to come down and break this neckline, this low of 88.20, that would be a clear bear break, and we'd see continuation to the downside. So this is a potential bearish reversal head and shoulders pattern. We'll see if that ends up playing out. And if we get a bull break of this inside bar, this inside candlestick, it'll be less likely to happen. Litecoin on the daily time frame. Upper wick here showing some profit taking, but the bulls have seen a big time breakout. The volume is dropping off. Whenever you see an uptrend to the upside, you want to see increasing bull volume. It shows strength. And right now we're seeing, it's essentially almost, I view volume as acceleration. So if, let's say we're accelerating in a car and heading to roadblocks, which would be resistances. Again, we don't have much resistance here because we're in blue sky breakout, but you want to see the acceleration increasing to blow right through that resistance and keep going. If you're decelerating into resistance, it's likely that the bulls are running out of steam and more likely to reject. So the all-time high is up at 28.73 and watching the higher low pattern. And if, if I want more details, because these ranges are so wide on the daily, I want to see what it looks like on the hourly. And I can see the key support levels on the way up every time we form a higher low looking right here. So that's a level at 24 on the dot. And psychological levels are going to come into play a lot in Blue Sky Breakout because we don't have any previous price action to be going off of. It's a lot of psychological levels. And that's why Ethereum was struggling right at about the $100 level on GDAX there. So support right now, 2170 on Litecoin is a double low. This was a double low where we bounced off of and saw continuation. If we break that level in the short term, we will be looking for further pullback. So we have a clear higher low pattern on the hourly, watching for a break to indicate the bears are taking over in the short term. We do have a bit of a double top at the all-time high, 28.73, 28.67, and then we pulled back. So bulls are absolutely still in control. We are getting some, nor uh, some normal healthy consolidation signs here. And it hasn't even been significant at this point. We know the pullbacks can be pretty brutal, but what we're seeing on Ethereum, at least on the hourly time frame, is every dip is being bought very quickly. And that's the thing about moves this size. People see these gains and they don't want to chase. So on every dip, they're trying to get in. And I guarantee right now, because these bank wires take some time, two to four days, if you're trying to transfer, it, it we have people here waiting on their money and waiting to get in and waiting for dips. So that's a good thing for the bulls. And again, watching for an ETF, whichever cryptocurrency gets their first ETF, it's going to be big time in the short term. So I appreciate you watching. By all means, again, please help me share these. I don't know where to be posting them for the most people to be seeing them. I'm trying Reddit. I'm trying Facebook and just trying to get the most people to benefit from this as they can. And also leave feedback in terms of what you're interested in and, and not in terms of cryptocurrency. I'm going to stick with these three for now, but just in terms of you know where you want some more clarification or if technical analysis is new for you. And if that's the case, again, check out the YouTube channel we've got. We've got plenty of free videos for some basic technical analysis for looking at. And even if you're not planning on trading, just knowing whether or not your, your, your asset here is in an uptrend or a downtrend or whether you should be concerned, that's important information to have. And you don't even have to be actively trading to be able to utilize that for information. And I think I just missed my trade order on ETH here, breaking the inside candlestick for the bulls. So we'll see. We'll see if I'll get in this trade. I'll update the next video. So I appreciate you watching. And we'll see you soon.